Here we are at 13825 Old Fort Morgan Trail here in South Alabama. And we want to give you a, just a brief video walkthrough tour of this property. It is raining outside today, so we are just going to start on the interior. This is the front door, if you will. And as you walk in, you are greeted by this uh, nice size foyer. Just behind the shutter style doors, you've got the washer and dryer, which are tucked away perfectly. And then, of course, you walk right into the kitchen. And it's a very expansive kitchen in the way that it opens up into the living room. But also, you can see there over the sink area, you kind of peer right into the sunroom, which I will show you here in just a few minutes. But I do want you to notice that you have the stainless steel refrigerator. You've also got an ice maker and water dispenser on that. You've got a wine cooler, a microwave, an electric range and oven, nice white cabinets, a dishwasher. It does have a disposal in the sink. Nice center island with the butcher's uh, block style countertop, laminate countertops, extra electric outlets, uh, uh, electrical outlets on this lower portion here. So a great place as a either breakfast bar or really just a great place to do some afternoon work. Maybe you've got kids in school or maybe you just do some work from home sometimes as well with your laptop. As we're panning around here, I want you to notice a uh, nice neutral color here in the house. You do have LB, uh, LVP flooring that goes throughout the main living area and also down into the bedrooms. You do have a fireplace, a wood burning flyer, fireplace, a ceiling fan, and then of course notice the chandelier there. That is a great place to set the stage for a dining table. Okay. As we walk here to the back, going down the hallway, you are going to have the um, central electric heating and air conditioning air handler here to the right. You do have a linen closet there to the right as well. Then this is, of course, the guest bathroom. Single vanity, cultured marble, some additional cabinets there. This one is a stand-up shower only, but it does have a bench. Down the hall a little further, here on the left-hand side, you could either use this as another walk-in closet style storage area slash, I could also see somebody really using this as an office. Obviously, uh, post-pandemic, a lot of people have just reverted to working from the house, and that is plenty of space for a single desk and a chair. Over there on the left-hand side, you do have um, a walk-in closet that's lined with cedar, for this particular guest bedroom. Okay, it also has a ceiling fan. And then on the right-hand side of this hallway, this is the primary bedroom, okay? Both of these rooms are a decent size. You can see that there's a walk-in closet there as well. There's another closet in here in the primary bath. Double vanity again. Cabinetry has been painted white. Ceramic tile floors. Here's the toilet, some additional cabinets and storage area. And then here in the primary bath, that is a tub and shower combination. So, you know, it's all very clean in here. I certainly think that some folks would like to make some updates, but at the price point with a direct uh, bay, lot waterfront lot you certainly have the room to make this uh, your own lots of natural light out here in the sunroom um, updated fans ceramic tile floors again again they're crisp okay notice the deck area very nice size deck you certainly have the beach area will be lots of fun during the summer months got a boat dock that obviously is going to need some work but I do want you to know that you do have it and of course these are just the stairs that lead down here to you know the house is on pilings so obviously you do have plenty of space to pull up right underneath your property lots of covered area so envision just 
you know, summer barbecues with family or friends, plenty of storage space. Okay. Do have another half bath out here as well. And then a sink area there. So, you know, these, this is exactly what these properties are made for. They're made for a good time uh, to host family and friends and parties and just a real legacy, if you will. The property does need some work. There's no sense in trying to pretend that it doesn't, you know. I think that, uh, but overall, you're gonna find that this has a lot of potential to really make this your own and have a great family property that everybody just talks about for years and decades to come. So anyway, take a look, deeper look at all the details and photos of this property and uh, request a showing with your agent.